Billy here at Gilbert Travels, here at the Austrian Lounge in Vienna. Surprisingly empty here before my flight in a few minutes. Getting on our first flight with Turkish Airlines. Give you the short downside. This was originally supposed to be on an A330, and I booked it on the A330 for this short flight to try out the old Live Flat Business Class before we get on the new 787 service to Atlanta tomorrow. But not too much to worry about. Their A321 is a nice aircraft, and that's what we're going to end up on with a two by two, a similar business class cabin to American first class type seating. Of course, going to get great food and service on this short flight. So come along with us. We'll head down to the gate and we'll bring you on board in a few minutes. So I was shocked the lounge was empty there, but uh, had a nice hour there waiting for our flight. Uh, Austrian airport has a little bit of a unique setup where you go through a ticket pass as soon as you get past the check-in area and then a passport control to get into each concourse. And then you actually go through security right at the gate. So that was a little bit of a hectic endeavor there and uh, hazard of being a travel blogger, I figured out here. Uh, you just got to take every single thing that's electronic out of your bag, including charger cords, and then you don't get stopped for extra security. But made it through, sitting here at the gate. Should be boarding in the next five minutes or so. We'll see you on board. All right, here we go, getting on board. So I'm going to show as much of the CT as I can here while we're on the ground. Since it's a nighttime flight, they're likely to have the lights off once we're in the air. Really relaxing boarding music, yeah. But I don't recall hearing loud music in other flights as you Yeah. It's nice. It is nice. On the Turkish Airlines A321. Have a look around the seat here. Got a pillow. Seems to be the only immediate amenity today. This is their business style recliner. Much like a US domestic first class seat, but uh, really nice. Unlike U.S. domestic first-class seats, you have full seat controls, including a leg rest. Got a big literature pocket here. Coat hook. Headphone plug, USB. Some kind of other connection. So you got a tray table here that comes out of the outer armrest. Two-piece sliding adjustment. Not sure what this is supposed to be here. Hmm. Does have a cup indentation for half deployment. Also, unlike a lot of US business class seats, you have a TV system here. Kind of unique how it comes out with the remote here and deploys from the inside of the armrest instead of swinging out from the front of the seat. Cool setup. Unlike US first class, you have a true leg rest with a foot rest that fully extends. Very comfortable. So the leg room on here is pretty much ridiculous. Uh, mountains of knee room and foot space. Really happy to be sitting in these seats for a couple hours. Uh, Would have liked to have been in the live flat on the A330, but what can you do? As far as flights go in Europe, uh, this is a top quality business class product, so can't complain at all at any time you fly in a business class. It's a special experience. Okay, so we got our welcome drinks here. Traditional with Turkish, multiple fresh juice options. I went with the raspberry. Grace went with the lemon mint. Let's try it out. Ah, quite nice. Ooh, very refreshing. Still a little warm on here, so much appreciated. And they just come around with some uh, roasted hazelnuts for us and our dinner menu for this evening. Very excited, haven't even seen this yet. Uh, so tonight, 
going to be having a uh, meze with a salad and a choice between a meatball, swordfish, which I've heard is quite good, and rigatoni with homemade parmesan sauce with cheese and a mango panna cotta. Very good. Excited to have some more catering here by Doe & Co. So let's see what it's like in there. Ooh. Choice of magazines, newspapers rather. Newspaper, please. Uh, we do have this page of updated news. FT Financial Times, The Wall Street. Wall Street Journal? Great. Yes, please. Thank you. I'm okay. Thank you. Little old fashioned entertainment for the ride. We've got some headphones here compatible with the entertainment system. Let's have a look. So these are, they're Philips brand, so that's a promising start. They put a brand on them. They don't look to be noise canceling. And they're like an on ear style, not an over ear style, but overall, they look comfortable. So business class not overly full tonight. Uh, looks like we got about maybe a little more than half full. So I guess that explains part of why they got downgraded from the A330. Uh, but they were flying the A330 last night and tomorrow night, so not sure exactly, but uh, in a good spot. So all right with it. Yeah. Number, we would like to welcome up the Turkish Airlines flight to Istanbul International Airport. My name is Burcu Günhan and I'm a cabin chair. We would like to have you during the entire flight. Excited for the full service to come here on this late flight. As you might expect, the footrest part of this uh, seat is a little too short for me to really make use of my feet. I need to touch the ground. Right? That's why I like having the full path or leg rest, whatever you like to call it, because it supports my legs. It makes these really feel just like a recliner in your living room. Hot towels. New board towels. I appreciate it. it's a late flight, so we're going to get going right away on the food service. They're passing the meze plates out already. Just my seat up a little bit. I like how the uh, bottom of the seat moves with the back. It's not just purely a recline. All right. Got my Turkish meze. Let's see what we got here. Okay, so let's take a little tour here. We've got a small cheese and olive plate, a Greek style uh, salad, a little uh, custard kind of dessert, and that's the mango of course. Interesting they're serving that with the meze. Meze here looks great, We've got some like eggplants, hummus, now we gotta get some bread to have it with. Oh, so yummy. Oh boy, fresh baked bread. Now we're really talking. Talk about sesame. Ha ha ha. All right. Now we got really hot, warm bread. Turkish meze feast. Definitely stealing the little uh, salt and pepper shakers. Let's dig in. I don't even know where to start. Let's get some of this bread. It's kind of a hummus hammock. 
Get some eggplant in there. I don't know if that's tzatziki or papa ganoush. Tell me that doesn't look inviting. Mmm. Try the one with the seeds on it. Yeah. Great. Thank you. Well, we've been a couple minutes and we're already on to bread number two. All right, so this is an incredible spread. This is more food than you normally would receive as a main meal on a four hour American style, uh, US style first class flight. This is just the starter. Flavorful, serious uh, in air food. Now, to be fair, cold dishes are always easier to pull off on an airplane, so we'll see how the warm main is. But this is a uh, excellent start. Let's try the wine, then I'll uh, leave you to finish this until the main course. Oh, well, that's very good. I like a dry wine. Very uh, good example of that. Almost like a shark bag. Uh, it's a part from Spain, not Turkey. Oh well. Vita Sol. Huh. Tasty. Main courses are here. Uh, I was going to go with the swordfish, but I whisked out at the last minute. Uh, the beef looked good. The swordfish was wrapped in some kind of a paper to the lot, so I decided to stick with uh, the beef meatball, which uh, I heard was a good dish as well, so I'll show you what it's about. Come in with some roasted zucchini and pepper and some kind of a grain mixture. Very good. Surprisingly, the zucchini is still a little crisp. Beef has a good rich flavor. It's actually not too dry. So it's a lightly seasoned burgerish kind of uh, item. The spice kind of builds over time. It's good. Mm. It's a very warm, balanced, earthy spice flavor to this uh, mixture here of grain that's totally done. It's probably me right this second. A bird boulder pilaf. Boulder pilaf. Very impressed that this zucchini is not soggy. I don't know. Uh, U.S. Airlines, they stop even serving meals at all, even on long flights after 8 p.m., so this is more than above beyond. I had to save some room to try this uh, mango panna cotta with you. Ooh, right? Got a very zingy, uh, ripe mango flavor. Very smooth custard down below. That was a great meal. I can definitely understand eating that. Why well, Dylan Co is considered one of, if not the top airline caterer out there. And uh, tonight I was glad to get to finally enjoy the Turkish service with the meze you know, platter. Really a uh, special thing. Awesome. Got one hour left here on the flight at the end of meal service. Not bad. Pacing. Rue voice. Chamomile. It's supposed to be relaxing. Which uh, sounds good because I need to get to sleep. Once we get back on it. Well, Turkish has these cute uh, warmers on the long haul flight. I think these are going to be made out of metal but here on the uh, short haul flight. Same kind of pattern in a paper over a real porcelain mug. Hope you enjoy that while I pick something to uh, watch on the entertainment center. Yank this baby out. Not too elegantly. This thing has an angle feature so the passenger next to you is sleeping or you don't want to disturb them. Very quickly, you can block out what you're looking at there. There's a remote located 
in a separate flap inside the flap. Kind of unique, never seen anything quite like that before. So let's see what we're doing here. Ah, it's a business plan. So, okay, come on now. Oh boy. Let's get past the ads, shall we? Okay. Skip ads. All right, there you go. This is kind of cute. You've got your seat number there. Do not disturb. Of course, we got to go first to the in flight map here. Basic 2D map like you've uh, seen on older airplanes, but uh, it's okay for this short flight, I suppose. Not enough time left tonight to uh, watch a full film, but oh my gosh, these ads. Okay. Got some big uh, recent hits, older hits. As well as you've got games, television shows, and music. Always a test here is to see how many episodes they have of a series. In this case, uh, we got three episodes. So you're not gonna binge watch on a long flight, but you might catch an episode or something short while you're on your way. Nice system for a short flight, easy to reach. Great to have uh, an easy option for some additional entertainment. Okay, so to sum things up, this is a very impressive regional business class cabin that blows away everything else on offer in Europe. Uh, really, I know of or have experienced so many European business classes just involving a coach seat in the blocked middle. Uh, you know, not only does Turkish operate some wide bodies, on many of their European routes, but even this plane is super comfortable. So, very pleased uh, to have gotten this uh, chance to experience this product with you and bring you along. So, touch base with you if anything else comes up in the plane, otherwise, we'll walk uh, in for a landing and I'll give you my final thoughts on the ground. Return to cruising at an altitude of 35,000 feet, which is approximately 10,000. 600 meters. We are planning to descend for Istanbul report within 10 minutes. And if everything goes as expected, we should be landing. It's 2 3 3 for local time. On behalf of Turkish Airlines and my entire crew, I wish you a pleasant landing. Have a nice day. Thank you. And just like that, it's time to land. Checking in with you here on hour two of taxi to the gate. So we're all the way here at the terminal, but we are getting on a bus. Like that, we've been plopped into the airport. What a massive place. Okay, so walking through Istanbul Airport here to the Yotel Air for the night. Okay, so let's sum up that flight. So obviously there in the end, uh, two hours was an exaggeration, but that did take a solid 20 minutes from landing to getting to the gate or actually the uh, station where we were offloaded for the bus. Uh, the business class bus did get us here to the terminal about what seemed like 10 seconds flat and right away so that uh, kind of made up for that uh, food wise awesome 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 blows away anything else i've had on a plane short haul and grace even commented that was better than our sas long haul business class meal and i would have a hard time arguing with that now those are some really nice seats to be completely uh, fair with you 
Turkish does offer some of their A321s and other narrow body aircraft with block metal seats like other European carriers. So you're not guaranteed that experience, but uh, if you do get it, that's a great time. That's an awesome way to spend a couple hours in the air. So hope you enjoyed coming along with us on that one. And uh, we're looking forward to getting some sleep here. I'm gonna show you briefly the uh, airside hotel here, the Hotel Air. And uh, we're getting up in the morning to get on our Turkish long haul flight. Come back again soon for more flight reviews here at Gilbert Travels. In the meantime, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you can be made aware when more content is available. Thanks for watching.